everybody, this is Jimmy Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, coming to you with a four, which I'm going to sort of work out as I go. I've got an idea in my head that I would like to pour a night and day on a diagonal, um, kind of with a garden path all the way up. I've got an idea in my head, but whether it comes out is a whole different story. So what I'm using today are the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I'm using the clear PVA and water. I have a pouring medium recipe in the drop down box and I have a description of how I make that and how I add it to my paint. So if you're looking for that, that's there. I have got my cells ready to go in my coffee cup giving me an extra boost. So the first thing, I'm going to sort of do the darker colours and light colours. So this is the plan, man. So let's go with it. This is the, ooh, can't get it out of there. This is the violet in the uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylic. So I'm trying to keep my nighttime scene over here. I'm not going to, I shouldn't even say that because it might turn out absolutely nothing like I have planned. But, you know, you can just try, can't you? So this is the, um, it's, it's the cerulean blue. Or it could be the new one. But, uh, okay, yeah. Blue. I hope you guys have all had a good weekend. I suppose by the time this video comes out, you'll probably be looking forward to your next weekend. So I hope you had a good one anyway. Um, red in there. But I had something. So this is the brilliant red. Now all of these paints, the Montmartre Studio Acrylics, which I think they're called Signature Acrylics now, are available in the US. And I have got a link underneath my video for US suppliers, but most of the US and the UK people are telling me that they just go onto Amazon and there's links to different suppliers on Amazon. So that's a good thing. Um, and of course, if you're in Australia, the Capriol Shabby Chic uh, online, they're very prompt and they're excellent service, so I absolutely do recommend them. Okay, okie dokie. Let's start over on my daylight side, I'm calling it. I turned my canvas over to put my giant push pins in and I can see all glitter that it's collected because I've been doing some glitter work and it's um, really collected on my canvas. <laughs> As it does, glitter gets into everything <laughs> when you've been working with it. So. Now I've got a fly, isn't that the... It's, it's winter time here but I've got a fly so... Go figure. Okay, so that's the uh, bright red, and I'm going back to. Yeah, this is the brilliant red, and that was the bright yellow. Okay, so two completely different colours on the. End of the canvas. So I'm just hoping that it does work out something pretty. Hope I get my gems and clusters in here. This is the mon no, monstrial, monasterial green. It's the colour that's come out in the Montmartre. So if you're in the US and you're making these, uh, you, you're getting these Montmartre paints, which are nice, thick and creamy and highly pigmented paints, um, I would recommend the best pouring medium that you can make up to use if you're in the US is the Elmer's Glue All. It must be the Glue All. 
um, and so a 70% glue and I add 30% warm water to Elmer's glue all then just add it to your Montmartre paints each individual colour requires a different amount so I'm, I'm not going to say um, quantities uh, for sure <laughs> because they all need different quantities but yeah that's the kind of in the US I just find that that's the best um, thing that you could use with these paints and it, it uh, month, what do you call it, uh, the, if you're obviously in Australia then the Montmartre clear PVA craft glue and water because it's a lot cheaper and easier to get in Australia than the um, Elmer's glue and it works, they work equally as well and I find give equally as good cells. So I'm just trying to tip tip this around but without mixing it if you can get my drift. Just want to leave that bit of a track down the centre because I've got something else planned for that. Just trying to make sure the canvas is nicely covered, evenly covered. So Obviously a little bit more di trickier when it's you try not to mix the two ends together. But I think it can be done. I think, I think. white over this corner instead of trying to stretch it. I don't want to stretch it and ruin what I've got in my head, but like I said that could be a whole different um, thing scenario turn out with that. If things don't go to plan. As sometimes they don't, just as in life. <laughs> don't go to plan. Okay, that's that. Double check that I've got you in the frame. I could move it over this way a little bit, but not. Okay. You're still with me. Let's keep this baby going. Oh. Yes, it's uh, Sunday afternoon here in Australia, and we've been out for breakfast down on the marina in. Um, uh, Noosa in Queensland, it's a lovely, lovely, lovely um, part of the world. If, if you haven't already been there, um, it's definitely a, one of the places that would be nice for you guys to visit. So, what am I going to do? This is the plan. Let's hope that it works. I am going, this is the um, very delicious that I make up myself. So this is, this particular one was the crimson, started with crimson, and I just added a small blob of phthalo blue, and then I wanted it to go a bit darker, so I added a little blob of black. So that's kind of what, I'm gonna put this down my little track here. I hope that this works out. <laughs> You never know. and I'll grab um, a soft plastic file divider. So that's what I love to do my swiping with. Okay. Here we go. So I will go. Oops, 
start. Start from the centre. That's a bit funny. So I'm just going to drag the very delicious which I probably should have only dragged a very small amount through my bright side but I'm sure it will make those cells the colours really pop so no worries so it's nice to try new things even if it's kind of the same technique but you're just doing it a different way it's, um, it's nice to try things different even the same old, same old, you can yeah do differently. So they say change is better than a rest. I'm not too worried about the odd bits that because when the cells come up and it's torched, you, um, you don't have to worry about those. So now I this side of my table to do it through the blue. Blue is the darker side. Dark side, blue. Oh. Let's do this stupid thing. Pouring gods be with me. quite dark doesn't it? Oh, I think I put too much. Oh I can fix that up that's not not a problem. So I'll just give it a bit of a hit with the heat one and see what we get out of this one. So this is the embossing wand. If you're looking for it it's a heat wand um, but look up if you're in the US or UK or Europe look up embossing e -M -B -O -S -S -I -N -G, embossing one or if you're in Australia Capriol Shabby Chic has lots of them at the moment so the link is below ooh champagne cells I don't know <laughs> well air bubbles are being burst and all sorts of things are happening. Look at these cells coming up before your very eyes. So this one just heats the paint slowly and doesn't burn it like a butane torch can. They're very safe to use, but don't put your finger under the heat because it's very hot, trust me. Now, my little idea to do with this dark part is to do like a garden hat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll see if it works. I have a bit of um, this was the folk art. Um, folk art. Color shift. It's the color shift, so it's like a silvery look. So I thought if I do like little steps, they'll look like a luminous. That's the idea, but whether it actually turns out. So what I'm going to do is just do little droplets on there to just see if it works. So they look... This is quite time consuming, so I will speed this bit up for you or I'll just... So it's kind of... I'm going to go right... Uh, they might be sinking a bit, so it might be not... This paint is a lot thinner than the paint that's on there. So it was kind of... I 
might have to do with thicker paint. I wanted to do like a garden path going through there. I have done it before. I think that's going to be too thin. Just grab this painting to show you what gave me the idea. I have done it before, but I thought it would work on this one. Is I did this particular piece, um, and then I just because it was a test piece, I just decided to add some embellishment. But I thought so. I've done this before, so it makes it look like a garden path. So I thought to try it again. So this this turned out really nice. I mean, they look like they definitely look like created cells. But I think I need to add paint that's thicker into the centre. Or oh. hmm. I'm not really liking this. It's all sort of gone a bit. Decisions, decisions. Let me see if I can do a, just do a balloon slide through there because there's actually, it should only be mostly the, I'm not actually liking how this has come, it's, so I'm definitely going to do some, actually that, oh. <laughs> Isn't that strange? Okay, that's a, there's a, something that's come out of just doing that. It's the colour shift has created this absolutely gorgeous, like slug-like um, streak through it. So there you go, I will add more of the colour shift so as it gets this gorgeous sluggy streak. balloon over it so it adds it to the and it's coming up like uh, like a gorgeous sapphire blue sparkly I'm not sure if you're getting it in in the uh, video but it is what's happening on the canvas so that's a nice thing but I'm not liking that so I have to fix that up I'm not actually too happy about that but you know I will work with it till I get something so I'll just leave that paint on it a little second and I'll see if I can do any balloon work that makes it into more of a summer garden theme. Or oh, a summer garden night sky or something. Work with it. So I'll just do some balloon kisses for now. But the paint is way too wet so I will come back. I will let that dry for about half an hour. I'll go and have a cuppa. I'll finish my cuppa sitting in the garden. I'll just do these. Okay, somebody did ask me to, like, you don't go through what you're actually doing with the balloon kissing. And, but I have done on lots of other videos. But I will just give you a quick demo. Probably best for a beginner to hold the belly button in between your fingers. You've got more control don't have a balloon that's absolutely solid I find that a bit squidgy because then you've got you are much much more able to um, control the balloon so if you push you can push basically right down into the paint if you've got plenty of paint on there if you haven't got much paint on your canvas that's when you're gonna leave holes or see see um, the canvas underneath and somebody said oh it goes right through to the um, canvas and leaves it blank or if you have enough paint on it you shouldn't do that so see I can do the kiss on that several times and it's still um, not going right through to the white canvas so that's the basic is you, you, you push it right, right down and lift it up but if it's got a lot of paint you'll see it all closes in so that's when it's telling you just walk away and leave it for a little while for the paint to absorb into the canvas and to uh, it basically self levels and then when you come back and it's a bit less paint on the canvas then you'll get sort of a better balloon kiss but try wiping off your balloon in between each kiss if you don't want it to go muddy, muddy. muddy. So as you see, there's a lot of paint on this and it really needs to be left. So 
that. But we'll leave it. I will just clean my balloon off, which I'm just wiping on my puppy pee pad. Which, and I'm going to just do this streak through here because it's leaving that lovely colour shift, it's leaving that lovely like, effect through it. leaving like that real sheeny glaze through the centre. So I might mix up a little bit of milk paint because I do know the milk paint leaves a lovely um, trap. Okay, I will leave that for about half an hour and I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, I have gone over the bits that I wanted to go over with the balloon. It's still quite wet. So I've just been giving it some of these teeny tiny balloon kisses. Um, and I did a couple of balloon rolls on the edges here. Actually, I did them with the bigger balloon, so not this teeny tiny I'm just using this little balloon that's got that's filled with a bit of water it just gives a little bit of weight and you can just drop it in and it gives like little kind of delicate effects in it so that's a really good little tool to have and what I did play around with as well was just a skewer doing some going your paint gently and just just feathering off some areas that you, you feel you know can be feathered or lightened off going into the dark so it's kind of turned out like my night and day envision, envision but I, I didn't put the the little garden track up, up like I had intended but I haven't got the right paint mixed so but that's okay I've done it before and I'm sure I'll have a go at doing it again but yeah, you can play with just a little skewer, you know, doing a few uh, sort of little squiggles where you feel that it might need it, like joining up cells, like that big blobby thing there, I can join it into that. Anything that, you know, cells that you don't particularly like the shape of, you can use your skewer to um, reshape them basically. But that's, that's kind of, I'm glad it's got like a, a separation line, but this has got that colour shift paint and it is just glowing. It's really sheeny, shiny with the sort of bluey silver effect. So I'm just hoping it dries with that same shine on it. And yeah, that was just something, um, same technique that I've done many times, but just in a different, a different layout. So let me know what you think, you guys. Is it too way out? Is it okay? Is it, yeah, what do you think? It's sort of, um, I'm kind of not sure if I like it or I don't, but I'm definitely going to leave this one because I know if, if I'm not 100%, that somebody else will love it. <laughs> Um, yeah I believe so so thank you so much for joining me wait till the end for the photos of how it turns out and I will put my Nana joke on there for you to all roll your eyes at so thanks so much for joining me appreciate each and every one of you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so bye for now hi guys uh, here is my joke for the day um, why was the painting arrested? Because it was framed. Oh my goodness. That is a bad one. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hopefully the jokes will get better as I go along. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, but thank you. I do love this painting. It's kind of like a Van Goghy colours. Okay, thanks.